All right, now, so this time let's look at three different angles. And once you have you know one angle done, it's just a matter of changing the angle in the in the calculator kind of thing. And so you don't have to really, like really redo stuff. So again, we're going to go 30 meters per second at 20 degrees, at 7 degrees, at 45 degrees. So um, 30 sine 20, Desmos 30 sine 20 is 10.26. So 10.26 and 30, and 30 cosine 20 is 28.19. Oh, that should be a 30. That should be a 30. And what do you say? I'm sorry. 28.19. 28.19. Again, one of the first things we do is try to find how long it flies, which is VF equals VI plus AT. And half time, VF is zero at the top equals, I really wish that, I got a grid here that shows up, 10.26 equals 10.26. Minus 9.8 because that's, you know, gravity is negative. And so i got to solve that. Zero equals 10.26 minus 9.8x. And I get an answer of 1.047. So, I mean, I keep forgetting numbers. 1.047. 1.047 equals time. But again, remember that's half time. So now we come over to this side of horizontal stuff and find where it lands. DF equals DI plus VIT plus one half AT squared. All right. And we want to find DF. And we are going to start at zero, and our V is 28.19. Whoops, I forgot a plus sign in there. Uh, and our VX is 28.19. We're going to multiply by time. But again, if this is half time, we need full time, which would be 2.094. And then plus another zero because acceleration is zero. All right. So again, our distance is going to equal the 28.19 times uh, double time, which is going to be, again, 2.094. 2 It'll be double of this 1047. And we end up at 59 meters. GF equals roughly 59 meters. Okay. Uh, let's do the same thing for, uh, well, let's find out how high it goes to, right? Just for fun. And again, DF equals DI plus VIT. Um, our V is 10.26. Our time is this half time, 1.0447 and minus 4.9. E squared 1.047 uh, I don't have a good way to do squares there's square okay so our height again our height is 10.26 times our time which is 1047 1.047 Minus 4.9, 4.9, and 1.047 is going to get squared. And yeah, I want that up there. So our height is going to be 5.37. Well, we're only shooting at 20 degrees. We're not it's like we're really shooting it upwards. Okay. So 59, and this was, what did we say, 5.37. Man, 5.37. 5.37. 5.37. 5.37. 5.37. 5.37. 5.37. 5.37. 5.37. 5.37. 5.37. 5.37. 5.37. 5.37. 5.37. 5.37. 5.
5.37. Okay. Well, let's look at it at 70. Again, it's, it's all the same stuff. Like if now we just can put in instead of 10.26 and 28.19, right? So let's change this to 70. 70. 70. And so then this 10.26, again, is our vertical. So it's 28.19, which means our new time is 2.877. Ooh, our new time, our new time is 2.877. Okay. And so we're gonna to wanna to double, I probably should have stuck in there and double that. Um, two times 2.877, 5.4, okay. All right, so now we have our double time. And our double time is, okay, horizontal. 10.26 times our 5.754, 5.754. And we go 59 meters. Really? Yeah. Oh, where did all that come from? That's interesting. And we go again. Why are you doing that to me? That's interesting. Pulling up stuff from before. Interestingly enough. I think that stuff like existed there before and it's seeing me, it's seeing I'm tapping on the same place. So D equals, you know, a horizontal velocity of 10.26 times our double time. Our double time was 5.754. 5.754, which got us a D of 59. Oh yeah, remember we talked about this before. If we shoot at two, well, there are two different angles we can shoot at to get to the same location. Oh yeah, okay. Now, what's the whole point of forty-five? Well, forty-five is the maximum. Notice we we were really low here, but we went fifty-nine. Um, you know, how high do we shoot here? Let's see. Our up stuff is. 28.19 our time is again 2.877 2.877 2.877 oh now we're shooting 40 meters high okay our d up in the upwards is 40 meters yeah, low angle, low height, decent distance. Low angle, decent distance. High, ang high angle, high height, same distance. So now, 45. So we do just all this 45. And again, what's 45 supposed to get us? 45 is supposed to get us the maximum range. The farthest we can go. Let's just prove that. So again, this is the first, this line is defined half time. And it's, hey, look, sine and, sine and cosine are the same. Yeah, 45. And that gets us a half time of 2.164, which is in between our other stuff, which gets us again. How far do we go? All right, we're doing how far we go here. 21.21 times 4.328. Hey, 92. Yeah. We go 92 meters. And we got again 21.21 and 2.164. And we go 23 meters high. Okay, so we go 91 and 23. 91 and 23. We go 23 high, up, and we go 91 long. All right. Halfway.
Ya ke? 